lady. Hundred tips left it. UK, UK. I know I'm a delight, aren't I? <laughs> ah, mm, uh, uh, what's wrong with me? Hi guys and welcome back. So I'm back today with another haul video from my New York trip. If you haven't seen my first one, that was a beauty haul, I will leave a little i button thing. I'm useless at remembering which side it's from. It's up here somewhere. I will leave it in the i button. I will also leave a link in the description box for you. So you can check out that haul if you want to after you've finished watching this one. This one is basically a clothing and stuff haul. Mostly clothing and underwear. So I basically went to Victoria's Secret. I went to a shop called Loft that I've never heard of before. I also went to Bath and Body Works and Forever 21. I've got a few bits to show you, so I am not going to blabber on forever, um, and we're just going to get going. Of course, when it comes to the clothing, um, I will film like inserts for you guys. I don't think that's necessary with these, so I got a couple of pairs of flip-flops from Forever 21. We do have Forever 21 here, um, and I got these after the clothes I bought, and then was like, oh, I don't really have any like shoes that will go with those. Um, and I didn't need to, I didn't even want to spend that much money on them. Um, I think things like Forever 21 are fine for those kind of things. It's not like I get a great ton of use out of them. Um, I say flip flops, they're sandals because I hate that little bit that goes in between your toes. But the first pair I picked up was these. They're a little hard to show you. Um, they're actually a nightmare to get on, but they basically look like this. So it's a kind of blush nude colour and I really wanted a nude pair that would go with multiple things. I really do like the gold like metallic um, detail over the heel but they wrap around your foot really nicely and I was a little bit worried when I tried them on because I have skinny feet. Um, so often things like that don't fit but these actually fit and hold my feet really tightly. Um, I could have probably done with a half size bigger which they didn't have and the whole size bigger would have been way too big. My toes are like right at the edge, but it's fine. These were $17.90, obviously before tax, because they do all that stuff afterwards, which is bizarre to me. Um, but yeah, these are the first ones. I also got another pair from there, which again, just super simple. They look like this. So it's just white, again, something that's gonna go with everything. It has a little cross detail that goes over the top of your foot, and then a strap that goes over your ankle. Sorry about that noise, that's Alvin drinking. These were, da, 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 let me see, these were super affordable, $12.90. What do you guys want to see first, clothes or underwear? Let's go underwear. I got a lot. They had a sale on, um, so most of the things I got were in the sale and then there's just one set that wasn't in the sale. Okay, so I got some knickers. These were $3.99 in sale each. Um, and they're just like standard everyday knickers. I'm a pure, I like my comfort, which you'll see in these. So these are the first pair. I love them, they're really soft. Uh, but I actually find this cut to be pretty flattering on me and my ass, um, along with being super comfortable. Um, so they're just great every day, like, I don't know about you, but when I'm at work, I don't want to be having, like, uncomfortable underwear on. I've got to be spending my whole shift, like, pulling them out of my ass crack or things like that. So, I know, I'm a delight, aren't I? But yes, these are the first pair. I also got these ones. So the same kind of cut, again. Oh, they're, ins Duh, they're inside out. There we go. And that's what they really look like. Um, yeah, but they're the same kind of cut again. The material like has slight, I don't know if you can see that, can you see me through them? They have slight kind of cut out, tiny, tiny little cut out details. But I really like those. These are all the same price. Um, I found these and I have this, I don't know if that's picking up on camera actually, it has kind of silver, sil silver? Silver thread running through. Um, and I have this um, bralette that's like, black with silver sparkles, so I thought that that would actually match really nicely. I don't have any underwear to match that bralette, so 
picked up those. I've picked up these ones. These are all inside out, which is really annoying. Again, these are all the same cut, just different colours. But I need some new undies. This is the bralette. It's kind of see-through, really. Um, but it's just straight. I like the kind of two-strap detail it has that they actually kind of cross over a little bit. Um, really simple, but really cute. And then I've got this one. This one's going to be a nightmare to try and show you guys. But the back of this is lovely. So, oh no, there we go. That's not so bad. So again, it's a see-through lace black bralette. Um, but what I really liked about it, so the straps go up and over your shoulders, but these bits actually, oh God, this is so hard to show you. I might have to show you this one on the back of it anyway, so you don't see my nipples. But this kind of comes across the back in a really nice way, and then the whole bralette actually just ties up at the back. Um, I might try that on. I'll show you the back of that on me. It's going to be way easier for you to see. And then the set that I got, this is actually... Um, the boyfriend's suggestion and I will show you this top on because this won't do it justice but this is what it looks like so again it's bralette style but it does have like the clasp at the back to get you in and out of it easier so it's this kind of black and nude it does have like a nude um, fabric underneath the black lace that runs along it so it sits a little bit further down you know this part comes under where your boobs would be and then obviously it has this lace up detail that actually sits really quite high and then the back just kind of comes down like that it looks really lovely on um, and they don't have like a matching matching set of underwear to go with it but they had they had like this um bralette but in a few different styles with like some with bras some more like corseted and they had this set of underwear on it which i got in a small although they look kind of big but i didn't try these on um, but they're just these black lace underwear, more kind of um, French knicker style. Um, they just have like a little peep thing at the back. Let me see if I can show you that a bit better. So here you can see, uh, just has a little peep with a little bow. But it's kind of, it's very sheer at the back with a couple of different kinds of lace. You probably won't pick up that great on camera. And you're a bit more covered in this area, full on black. As we spent a particular amount of money on underwear, um, you got a free tote bag. Now, the women that were serving us at the till were too busy chatting to each other, really, and then they swapped over halfway between the transaction. So they didn't actually give me a tote bag, which is what they were supposed to. So before leaving, I had a look at the signs that were saying, like, spend this much money and get a free tote bag, just to make sure that I should have and I should have so I asked another lady and she was super nice she was like oh my god you need a bag let's get you a bag I was like I love you um, but this is a tote bag I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet so uh, let's do that together they had one that you can see but you couldn't see it or anything oh this is actually really nice let's take out all the paper stuff as well this is really quite big too okay so this is great. My friends are coming in a couple of days. We're going to the beach, so this is perfect. So it looks like this. It's black. It's going to make my lights go crazy. I need to figure out how to stop that from happening. But it has this leather-esque bottom. Um, and then, as you can see, it's kind of see-through-ish, meshy. says Victoria's Secret. has these kind of handles that you can put over your shoulder, but has a long strap as well, so you can have it really hang over your shoulder or crossbody or whatever. But hey... Free tote, free tote bag. I am not complaining at that. Now, let me tell you how hard it is for me to buy clothes in America. I tried on so many clothes from so many different shops and they just do not fit me. Um, my boyfriend, however, could buy all loads of clothes and he actually started to feel quite guilty because I couldn't find anything and was really excited to go shopping when we were over there. And it wasn't until one day we were in Brooklyn Heights um, and there was a shop across the street that looked um, a little more on the expensive side. Um, and this was like our like second to last day, I think it was. My boyfriend was like, let's just go in and see. You never know. Luckily, he said that. Luckily, we went in because I found a bunch of lovely stuff that fits me lovely. 
great quality, so a little bit higher in price, but I got great deals on everything. So, um, the shop is called Loft. I don't know if that's like a chain brand in the States or it's like a one-off brand. I have no idea. If you are watching and you are from the States, please feel free to put in the comments below and let us know. Um, I had armfuls of stuff to try on and I said to my boyfriend, you best hope that most of this stuff doesn't fit because it's going to be a hell of a lot of money. And I tried on the first thing, which is going to be actually the first thing I show you because it's the first thing I'm grabbing. And it looked lovely and I was like, oh dear. By the way, apparently the reason I struggle with clothing in the States is because of my height. Um, the girl that helped us in this shop, she said that on average, the average height of women are a lot shorter than I am. I am five foot nine and a half, or one meter seventy five, wherever you're from, however you do it. Um, and I noticed everywhere, everywhere was made, the clothes were cut a lot shorter, um, but everywhere also had a petite section, and nowhere had a tall section. Um, so I really struggled. But the first thing I picked up was this romper. Again, these are going to be quite hard for me to show up and hold you, but I'm going to do some inserts, some cutaways. So is this romper, it is the first romper I own, um, I have been wanting a romper for ages but could not find one that actually flattered my figure. I have pretty long legs but I also have a pretty long body as well um, and a lot of rompers kind of cut me in in the wrong place or the shorts were way too short. But this one is not, it has, what are these sleeves called? So it sits like here, there's a name for it. I can't remember, I call them off the shoulder, but that's not the actual name. If you know the name, again, let me know in the comments. Um, but I love this, it has this like little um, peep here, you can undo this and have it sit open, but I liked it as it was, and it has these really cute little tassels on them. So this, as original price was $79.50, obviously before tax. Um, oh, by the way, it has pockets. Um, but when she scanned this, it was it was not in the sales section, it was like normal standard price. But um, we got like 30% off of it and from the receipt all I could see was that it said um, like trousers, like trouser discount or something. The next thing I got is dresses. Now if you've been following me for a while, I got everything else, it all shows my legs basically. They're all dresses apart from one jumper. Um, but I'm feeling so much more confident with my body these days and I lived in shorts while we're in New York um, so it's a whole new thing for me but I love it. Um, however, this dress that I'm about to show you, my immediate reaction when I put it on was I don't like it and that's because it's just very much out of my comfort zone. This is a very girly dress and I'm not a very girly girl so my immediate reaction was I don't like it. My boyfriend loved it. And um, once I'd taken a bit more time to look in the mirror, it really did flatter my figure, or I found it to flatter my figure, and did look really nice. It's just, like I say, very girly for me. So for me, it's a bit more of a special occasion dress, maybe something that's suitable for like a summer wedding. Um, but it looks like this. It's this kind of, um, it's cream, and it's real kind of dark. It's not red, it's more, yeah, it's like an or orangey red, maybe. But anyways, it has these thin spaghetti straps, and then it does have these um, little tiny, like, sheer thin sleeves that kind of hang off your arm. It's a V-neck cut, cut at the front, and it then kind of cinches you in here, as you can see. And then it's just kind of long and flowy out. You'll see it a lot better in the cutaway. Um, and you can kind of the cinched in part, it does have a string here, so you can cinch it in more, take it out a bit, whatever. Um, but again, it's very, very, very on the girly side. So um, it's something I need to get used to a little bit more, but it did. I did find it to look really nice on my figure. My boyfriend loved it. I forgot to tell you the price of it. I think this was a full price item. Oh no, so this originally, this is where you start to see the savings. It was originally $89.50, it was on sale for $74.99, and then an extra 40% off of the sale price. Um, so we got a lot of money off, a lot of things. This thing is way more in my comfort zone. This is another dress. Um, this was another full priced item. Although one of these we did get an extra discount on, and I have no idea why. Um, so this one was $69.50. Oh, I might need to add as well, by the way, I think everything in this haul 
This part of the haul is an extra small. Um, everything so far has been an extra small, so I'll tell you if it's not. So this is a kind of t-shirt dress. It's just a plain grain material with short sleeves. And this actually, so it does kind of sit off your shoulders. And when I tried it on, I kind of did it a little bit diagonally like this, which I really liked better. And it just hangs off you, it's straight. But it's something that um, can be worn super casually. I would also wear it on a night out paired with like a killer pair of black boots, something like that. But oh, the material of all these things is lovely. Um, really, really nice. I did get another t-shirt dress. Again, this is an extra small. Um, so I can't see the original price of this because it's got a sticker over the top. But the sale price was $54.99, but then it had another 40% discount off of that as well. And this is another t-shirt dress, but this is more of a standard t-shirt dress. As you can see, it's black and white stripes. It's a lot thinner than the other one. Um, but I didn't notice any problems when trying it on with seeing my underwear through it, although I can't remember what colour underwear I wore. But it's something you may want to pay attention to and maybe wear some nude underwear or something like that because white can be a little see-through. And it, this is a thinner material. Um, but again, simple t-shirt dress. Really, really liked it. Another short dress. This was... For, there were three full price items. I think, I don't know, my mind's a bit all over the place and I have no idea where the receipt is. I will try and find it to you so I can, for you so I can leave all the prices down below. Um, but I, I think this was a full price item that we also got a discount on for some reason. So it does say $69.50 on the label, but I'm pretty sure we didn't pay that much for it. Now this is a standard black dress. It's going to be really hard to show you showing up because it's black and it's going to make my lights go funny. But you'll see it in the cutaway. Um, so it is quite high neck, but it's... Um, Kind of like a crocheted lace. I'm trying to stick my arm through to see if that shows on camera. You can kind of see it a little bit, I think. And it's just, other than that, it's very standard. It cinches me in, in a really nice place on my body. And then it just has a short black skirt. It's quite flowy and it feels really comfortable and really nice. Then I got a couple of maxi dresses, which are going to be impossible for me to show you them properly like this. But hey, I'm going to give it a go. This one originally was $79.50, $69.99 in the sale, again with an extra 40% off, also in an extra small. This is the pattern of it, um, and it does have these kind of um, ruffled, like cinched in shoulders that you can do more or less with these strings, so they can sit a bit thinner on your shoulders or a bit wider. You see it has this quite deep kind of U neck, and again it cinches in in a great place on my body and then just has a long flowy skirt and it's one of those that is big enough that you don't have to walk like a geisha in it. I bet some of you know what I mean by that. So this is the pattern of the first one. Again, I'm not going to try and show you like crazy. You'll see it easier in the cutaway. And this is the second maxi dress that I got. I got this one in a small, I remember, because they didn't have an extra small but I really liked it so I wanted to try it on and it still worked. Um, I've been looking for maxi dresses for a couple of years and again, can't find some that really suit my figure because I'm skinny, some of them um, make me look too skinny, um, almost um, kind of sickly skinny um, or they highlight my hip bones in a way that's really unflattering or they're not long enough. I've really struggled in my quest for maxi dresses. But this is the other one, so this is the pattern of it. It has smaller kind of shoulders and these really sit kind of right on the outside of your shoulders um, and it comes down to a really nice kind of deep v-neck. I did have a black bralette underneath and you could see it like peek through right at the kind of bottom of that v so it's maybe something to think about. I would probably wear a bralette underneath it anyway. And um, what I really liked about this one is it had these kind of ruffles down the front that gave it a little bit extra detail. Very similar to the other one, cinches in, long flowy skirt. I also like the back, this has a low v-neck and then this kind of ties up around the back of your neck as well so it all kind of sits nicely and you feel a lot more secure. I'll tell you the price, I can't remember if I told you already. Um, I can't see the original price because that's stickers over stickers again but it was around the $70 mark I believe. Um, on sale for $59.99 and again an extra 40% off. The last thing I got was a jumper, which you might think is a little bit weird because it's summer. But it was on sale and it was really cheap. 
Um, and I live in Europe, the summer does not last very long. Um, so it's this black jumper, it's gonna make my lights go crazy when I hold it up to show you. Um, so it looks like this. Again, it's gonna be hard to really get the idea of it by holding it up, whoa, I can see my lights. I am talking a million miles an hour. It has short sleeves and then this is like the big collary thing that you kind of fold down around and you can have it like really neat if you want, which is not really my style. I kind of, I kind of ruffled it up a little bit. This was on sale and this, it was final sale, so there was no kind of extra discount on it, but it was 1988. Um, and this is a petite small. Okay, so the last place I went to was Bath and Body Works. Um, and I didn't get a bag, and it wasn't until afterwards I was like, oh man, I wanted a bag to like, say, so, hey, I went to Bath and Body Works. I was determined to find a Bath and Body Works because I could not come home without the candles. I had one once from a shop here that randomly sold them for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, <clears throat> but we went to, when we went to Brooklyn, I'm sure I got these in Brooklyn, yeah. We went to more of the like downtown part of Brooklyn first. We got off the subway and there was Bath and Body Works. I was like, uh, hello. And I could see on the windows from quite a distance, they had a sale on. So everything I picked, I, I only got candles. They were all in a sale, so they were all $11 each. And um, not everything was in there in sale. They had some selected items. And obviously I can bring back a crap ton because they were heavy and the boy had to carry it around all day. Um, and then obviously bring them home in the suitcase. But I found five that I really, really like. So they are all still wrapped up in this paper, so I have no idea in what order I'm going to be showing them to you. Okay, so this one, I really love the jar of this one. It looks like this. Oh my god. Oh, if you guys could smell these. This is creme caramel. So they're all, by the way, they're big three wick candles. And like I say, they, they are normally $22.50. Everything I got was on sale for $11. Um, oh, like... I don't even need to tell you with Bath and Body Works, everything smells exactly how they say it's going to smell. But I will read you the fragrance notes. So this one is buttery caramel, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. If you've never tried a Bath, Bath and Body Works candle, if you get the opportunity, do try them. You need to, I mean, you light it for an hour and your entire house smells like it. It is one of those scented candles that really do smell and it makes your entire place smell, so it's a win-win. Okay, so this one is Beach Glow. It says Salted Oak Bonfire. Oh, they just smell so good. The um, fragrance notes is Wave Washed Oak, Glowing Embers, and Sea Spray. I don't really know what Glowing Embers smells like, or Wave Washed Oak, so I don't really know if this smells like those things. But it just, it just smells really damn good. This one, I kind of wish I'd have just got five of this one. This one's definitely my favourite. This is Paris Cafe. And it smells like coffee. It literally smells like the best coffee shop. And I mean coffee shop, not weed coffee shop. Ever. Fragrance notes, rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche and vanilla cream. Does that not sound wonderful to you? Oh, now I've shown you these. This is the first one I'm gonna like, I love it. This is the only kind of citrusy one I got. Um, and it's pretty much the only citrusy one they had on sale. But this is the Georgia Peach. It looks like this, so it's a nice peach colored glass. Mm. Oh, maybe I'll like this one first because it's a warm day today. Who knows, we'll see. Um, fragrance notes. notes. Juicy peaches, dew-covered leaves, and a hint of vanilla. Again, I have no idea what dew-covered leaves are supposed to smell like, but it really does smell like peaches in the best way ever. Oh, so good. Last one, and I can already remember which one this is. This one is Summer Boardwalk Salted Caramel Popcorn, and you best believe that's exactly what it smells like. Oh, it literally smells like caramel popcorn. The fragrance notes are caramel glazed popcorn, warm toffee apples, salty sweet cream. You don't smell any apple in it, which is fine by me. Oh God, it just smells so good. Maybe I'll like this one first. I have no idea which one I'm gonna like first. Maybe because I will have lit one before this video goes up. I might just let you know in the comment section below if you're interested. 
Um, but here's a, here's a fun thing. Let me know in the comment section down below if these were your candles, which ones you would like first. I want to hear from you guys too. Um, but that's it. I've shown you everything from New York. There is one more video that will be New York related, which I'm going to film with the boy. He's now called boy. I don't know why. Um, but we're going to do one of those Europeans try American candy videos because we've got a whole crap ton of candy to try purposely for that video. So that will be up maybe next. I'm not sure. But if you subscribe, you're going to know about it, especially if you turn on that little bell notification thingy. <laughs> Shameless plug. As I keep saying in all of my videos at the minute, I am trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, so help a girl out. I'm not cool enough to say that. But please, if you like it, subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me across the rest of the social media world there is. Everything's linked down below. As always, I'm going to stop talking because you guys are probably finding me really annoying by now. So, have a great day. I love you all and I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye.